Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of Cozy Rocks SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2005. The Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the NetSuite source component, which you can use to integrate or migrate data from the NetSuite service. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In Cozy Rock's SSIS Plus product, we provide source and destination components for NetSuite, which support both 32-bit and 64-bit modes. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to copy records over from NetSuite to an Excel file. I'll show you two different ways to configure the solution. One is good for simple transfers when you don't need to do anything fancy. The other method uses Search XML and is good for handling more complex data operations such as filtering the data. Now I'll show you how to configure the NetSuite source component to pull all the opportunity records from NetSuite using an input type of record. The first thing I'll do is set up the connection managers and I scroll down and find the NetSuite connection manager and I type in the credentials that I'll be using to connect to NetSuite and I test the connection and it's good. Now I'm going to set up the Excel Plus Connection Manager from Cozy Rock to receive the data from NetSuite. And I choose the file. And I test the connection, and it's good. Now I'll drag the NetSuite source component onto the canvas. And I go into Edit It and I'll choose the NetSuite Connection Manager that we just set up. And I go to Component Properties. I leave the input type set to Record. And in this package, I'm going to be copying the Opportunity Records over to an Excel file. Now we'll take a look at the column mappings. And you can see we have a lot of columns there. And we'll go to Input and Output Properties. And I need to remove all the columns that I won't be copying over so that we don't get a bunch of warnings. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be right back. I just finished removing all the columns except for these six that you see right here. So we're done configuring the NetSuite source component. Now I'll drag the Excel Destination Plus component from Cozy Rock onto the canvas, and we connect the two components. And now I'll go in to configure it, and I choose the Connection Manager, and I'll choose the Worksheet for Opportunity Information. And I go to Columns, and there you see the six columns that I want to copy over. And that's all we need to configure there. So now we'll just save the package, and we're ready to execute it. And we have success. So we'll stop debugging. And we'll go take a look at the execution results. And everything looks good. Now we'll take a look at the data that we copied over from NetSuite into Excel. And there you can see the six columns that we were working with. Now I'll show you how to configure the NetSuite source component to pull certain contact records from NetSuite based on a filter. To do this, I'll be using an input type of Search XML. The connection managers are already set up, and now I drag the NetSuite source component onto the canvas, and I go in to edit it, and I choose the NetSuite connection manager, of course, and then we go to Component Properties, and for input type now, I'm going to choose Search XML. Then I go down to the Search XML parameter and click on the ellipsis. I'm going to build my Search XML statement. 
and I'll search for contact records in which the company field is not empty. And there you can see the complete statement that's been built. And you could just type in your statement down here in the bottom section instead of building it the way I did. Now we'll take a quick look at the column mappings. And I'll go to Input and Output Properties, and I'll remove some of the columns that we won't be using. And I'll just leave the contact columns there. Now I'll drag the Excel Destination Plus component onto the canvas. And I'll connect the two components. Now I'll go in to configure the destination component, and I'll choose the Excel Plus Connection Manager. And then I choose the worksheet that I want to use in the Excel file. And I take a look at the columns. And there's nothing else to configure there. Now I'll save the package and execute it. And it's successful. So I'll stop debugging. And we'll go take a quick look at the execution results, and everything looks good. Here's the Excel file that contains the results of running our package. And you can see there's 22 records there, and all of them contain a company name. In summary, I have shown how easy it is to migrate data from the NetSuite service to an Excel file using CozyRock's NetSuite source component. I showed how simple it is to configure a transfer using an input type of record. Then I showed you how to use an input type of search XML so you can perform more complex operations. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.